All right, so I know that you won't have base 10 blocks to work with when you are um, doing your assignments or even when you get to the star test at the end of the year, but I also know they're still going to make you test with models. So we need to learn how to use these models as well as the base 10 blocks. So you can see on my model I have eight hundredths, right, these tiny little things, eight hundredths filled in. And so that starts me with eight hundredths. And be sure that you put it in the hundredths place. If I put it right next to the decimal point, then that would be eight tenths. And then I would have to fill in all of these columns all the way over to here. Well, that's not what I have. I have eight hundredths. Okay, and we're going to, let's make it easy and divide it by two. That means I have eight hundredths. I need to break it up equally into two groups. Right? So I could, if I wanted to, number them. Group one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then I just need to know how many is in each group. So we would have, here's a one and a one and a one and a one. So there's four in each group. But it's not four whole. It's four of those tiny little boxes. So that would be four hundredths. So I would have to have, there's my tenths. There's my hundredths. I have four of those. So I have to have a placeholder to push me out and make it hundredths. Okay, let's look at a different one. What if we have this? Okay, so this time I have two columns, so that's two tenths. So here's my decimal, and I have two tenths. And if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have 27 hundredths. And I want to break that up into three equal parts. Okay, so I could do the same thing. I could count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Until I have them all counted. Right, and then I could see how many are in each group. So I'm going to count the ones again. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them were numbered one. So that means each of my three groups would have nine hundredths in it. So here's my decimal point. There's my tenths. There's my hundredths. I know they have nine in each. And again, I need that placeholder to move me out to the hundredths place. So 27 hundredths divided by 3 equals 9 hundredths. Now, I want you to look for a minute. Look at this 27 and this 3. If we just ignored the decimal point and we just thought of it as 27 divided by 3, well, if you know your math fact, you know that 27 divided by 3 is 9. Okay, we just have to know where the decimal goes. And over here on this one, this is 8 hundredths, but we can just use the 8 and say 8 divided by 2. Well, 8 divided by 2 is the 4 that we end up with. Okay, so we're going to be able to do our math. We're going to be able to do it like we're working with whole numbers. All right, and then we're just going to have to make sure we get our decimal where it belongs.